There is an entire generation of students who have grown up with the ever-present fear of school shootings and the violence in their communities, and now these students are speaking out. Watching the events and their voices and their actions, I could not be more proud. I could not be more proud of the 6,000 people who participated in Newark in the March for Our Lives demonstration and gun violence and of the student-led marches throughout New Jersey this past weekend representing thousands more, including those in Camden County. Not to mention the estimated 800,000 people who marched in Washington and joined from across this country. The message is loud and clear, and the voices of our children have been heard. Enough is enough. The people of New Jersey overwhelmingly want this action, not merely more thoughts and prayers. And so, what does that mean for us today? I'm asking all of my colleagues today to stand with us once again. For the memory of those 21st graders at Sandy Hook, and for their parents who bravely came in a moment of grief to share with us from their experience what they believed would be the most instrumental impact on preventing these types of tragedies again. For the 17 people killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, for the 3,246 people who lost their lives in 2018 alone to gun violence, enough is enough. For over a million people who were shot in the past decade, for the, on average, one school shooting a year since Columbine, for the 50 mass shootings in 2018 alone, enough is enough. And for all the victims and their families who have been affected by gun violence, one course of enough is enough. Make no mistake, gun violence is not about statistics or abstract arguments. It is about countless lives that have needlessly been cut short because far too many public policymakers have failed to find the courage to eventually act. Today in New Jersey, that comes to an end.